The Taken are an army without a commander, Asher. If we leave them with a little peace and quiet, they might crown a new king. Welcome back, Guardians. Today we are discussing who is now in control of the Taken. Which Hive entity has claimed Oryx's throne? The Strike Mission, Savathun's Song, the Scannable Items on Io, and the Io Adventure Unexpected Guests seem to suggest that Oryx's sister, Savathun, is now in control of the Taken. However, whilst I will discuss this as the main theory in this video, the deeper lore of Destiny 1 may suggest Savathun is not in control. I will share that alternative theory at the end of this video. If you're one of my Patreons, Acolyte tier and above, please check your emails and Patreon messages. By the time this goes live, I would have selected the winner for the console giveaway. Thank you for all of your crazy support on Patreon. This is Marlin Games, and I hope you enjoy this latest Destiny 2 lore episode. Let's start with the Scannables on Io, specifically the Blights. The Blights appear to be transmitters between our dimension and the Hive Ascendant Realm. For those who are not familiar with the Books of Sorrow, the Hive created the Ascendant Realm to house their throne worlds. The Hive Gods, Oryx, Savathun, Zyphi Arath, and Crota could only be truly killed within their own throne worlds. That is why in the Destiny 1 raids, we have to enter Crota's throne world to truly defeat Crota. And the same for Oryx. So, in Destiny 2, these blights seem to be a link between our dimension and the Hive Ascendant Realm, allowing the Hive to peer into our dimension, and it also allows them to communicate with their army. Have a listen. Another Taken portal. I... Uh... I'm getting an active scan signal through there. I think something's watching us. I think these blights are like transmitters. They're either calling out to something, or letting something whisper to the Taken here on Io. So who is on the other side of this link? The blights that connect us to the Ascendant Realm? Well, there is quite a lot of evidence to suggest it's Savathun. A scannable on Io says this. This is sending out some kind of resonant signal. The same syllables over and over. Sa, va, thun. In addition, there is a strike mission called Savathun's Song. In this mission, we see enemies called Savathun's Handmaiden, who are converting guardians into crystals to harness void light and summon Savathun from her ascendant realm. This is actually really subtle and a little bit confusing, and I did not realize this until I was writing the transcript for the strike mission. During the strike, an unknown guardian has gone missing whilst investigating a hive ritual. He says this. Don't come any closer. I swear if you try to turn me into one of those damn crystals. I think alive is the bare minimum we should shoot for. Sloan, are you there? broadcast came from somewhere nearby. Hurry! You then enter another area where your ghost says... I don't understand. That guardian should be right around here. Then you will see a Savathun handmaiden around a void crystal implying that that guardian has become that crystal. I know it sounds a little bit weird, but later in the strike, you enter a hive tunnel full of void crystals, and your ghost says this. So many lives wasted. The hive are monsters. Uh -huh. 
The mission then ends with you tracking down another guardian called Taiko 3 who sacrifices herself to make a void crystal and allow you to stop the summoning ritual. Once again, this is very subtle and not terribly obvious during the mission. However, if you look at your mission dialogue, it reads, Silence Sabathun's Song. Silence Sabathun's Song. Use Taiko 3's Void Light against the Hive at the right moment. So at this stage, we have scannables and a whole strike that seems to suggest that Oryx's sister, Sabathun, is trying to gain access to our dimension by being summoned via her handmaidens. And if that was not enough, there's also an adventure on IO called Unexpected Guests. This adventure has you investigate Taken gathering at a Cabal camp, and also suggests that Savathun is in control of the Taken army. Here is what is said in the adventure. We found a scary portal. Reminds me of the ones we saw in the Dreadnought. A portal to the Ascendant Realm. Taken world lies beyond that veil. A new power must be seeking entrance into our world. We then attempt to seal the portal using arc orbs of light, but not before something comes through the portal. A hive wizard called Iraz Eye of Sabathun. Hurry! Whatever is on the other side of that veil has to know you're trying to seal it in. Ikora, something's coming through. How deliciously unexpected. Ikora then ends the mission by saying this. That creature was the servant of some higher power. I fear something has claimed Oryx's crown. So, between the Scannables, the Strike mission, and the adventures in Destiny 2, it seems to suggest that Savathun has claimed the Taken Throne and is leading an attack on our world. The other reason why this is very plausible is because Savathun left in the Books of Sorrow and has not been seen since. Verse 5.4 of the Books of Sorrow reads, Then saith Savathun, Siblings, listen, we must part ways a while so that we may grow different. She flies her war moons into the black hole, her throne becomes distant. Saith Zaifu Arath, King Oryx, you take up too much space, your power constrains too many choices, I must go away from you. She flies her war moons away into the night, her throne is barred shut. Then Oryx was alone. He spent a while in thought, and those thoughts are recorded here. Even though most of the evidence points towards Savathun as the next Taken King, there is another theory, a theory that is hidden in the Books of Sorrow from Destiny 1. So, in the Books of Sorrow, Oryx was the only one to kill a Worm God, and from that he created the Tablets of Ruin, which then allowed him to commune with the Darkness, which then allowed him to become the Taken King and create Taken. Savathun was known as the Sister of Trickery, and she was constantly trying to undermine Oryx's throne world. Perhaps one of the most important events was when Savathun tricked Crota into making a portal that let the Vex into Oryx's throne world. It was during this encounter that the Vex Mind Korea Blade Transform was created. This Vex Mind ran a number of simulations on the Hive and determined that their power originated from their symbiotic worms. The Vex Mind never introduced the worm larvae into the Vex fluid, however created a Vex priesthood to try and understand the power of the worms. I believe this led to the creation of the Black Garden. Oryx eventually defeated Korea Blade Transform and captured the Vex Mind, gifting it to Savathun. Verse 5.2 of the Books of Sorrow reads, It's a Vex I captured, Korea Blade Transform. It made an attempt to puncture my throne. I thought you might enjoy studying it. Oryx pauses, digesting. Through the bond of lineage, he can feel Crota killing, worlds and worlds away, and it tastes like sweet fat. Korea contains a Vex attempt to simulate me. It might generate others, you perhaps, or Zaifu Arath. I've left it some will of its own, so it can surprise you. I suppose it will blow me up and kill me, Savathun grouses. Or let the machines into my throne, where they'll start turning everything into clocks and glass. 
If it kills you, then you deserve to die. Oryx says it with a quiet thrill, a happy thrill, because it is good to say the truth. The reason why this is really interesting is that in Destiny 2, in the world quest on Io, you encounter Erosus, Spawn of Korea, and Ear Arok, Tongue of Korea. Unfortunately, I've not played this world quest yet because I'm saving the loot to help level my character. So thanks to all the people on Twitter who messaged me the screenshots. But does the presence of these enemies just acknowledge that Savathun still has Korea captive and is manipulating the Vex mind in some way? Or is there something more going on here? Remember what Oryx said. Korea contains a Vex attempt to simulate me. It might generate others, you perhaps, or Zyphi Arath. Maybe all the evidence pointed at Savathun being the new Taken King is a misdirection, and it is not Savathun controlling the Taken, but rather the Vex Mind Korea Blade Transform simulating Savathun. During Korea's first encounter with the Hive, the Vex Mind could not understand the Worm Gods. But maybe after a prolonged period of capture by Savathun, Korea Blade Transform has broken free. This may explain why we see Spawn of Korea and Tongue of Korea. That concludes this latest Destiny Lore episode. If you'd like to support the channel, a like would be greatly appreciated. And leave the word Korea to represent what I think is the most interesting part of this story. As usual, it has been a pleasure. This is Marlin Games. Peace.